number five. five. Auction business license approvals between board meetings. Okay, at the last meeting, we did the um, auctioneer's license. We kind of it was kind of an assumption on some part that we're going to do the business license as well, but we would just like to have it public um, record that Sandy can approve. You know, she'll call first. She's not going to do this on her own. I know you're going to have a question. I already see it. Could I just oh, finish? Just okay. <laughs> <laughs> I move that that any we what? I'm running for your motion. Okay. I move that any if they're licensed in another state. Let me get through, Sandy. Any rest prodigy state that rest prodigies with Louisiana. Any licensed business be granted a temporary operating license number until the board between board meetings provided bonds, etc., 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 are met and file copies are on all paperwork. All order. paperwork concerned. I second it. We have a first and a second. And I'm sorry, I'm can I just point out that the reason I, was, I wasn't meaning to interrupt you, the one that you guys passed for the auctioneers was that if they were licensed in any other state, they didn't have to necessarily be a reciprocal state with Louisiana. As long as they were licensed in any other state and they were coming in and they showed that they were in good standing, you guys would I allow me to issue a temporary. I want the business to be rest with some other state of Louisiana. I do not want to open door on business. Well, I, I'd like to look to, to explore that a little bit and have some colloquy on that particular thing. There are some states, such as Mississippi, uh, well, we, you have to go through all kind of hoops if you want to be able to be an auctioneer there if you license in Louisiana. And I can tell you that my company is trying to do that right now. Thanks to Larry I'm gonna, Well, it may be, but I'm, you know, I'm going to not be here for many years. So, I, you know, I don't know that we should have such an open door policy where you're going to have every auctioneer from all over the state of Louisiana <coughs> coming in here and opening up an auction exchange. I think that only hurts the people in Louisiana, we have uh, taken exams, pay taxes, and want to earn a, uh, earn money. I'm, well, I'm, you know, it was a temporary. If it's between meetings, and if they all their paperwork's in order and everything, if it's something that would come up, it's not. She's not granting it. It was just if it's going to probably be approved right, at the they, board meeting if everything's in order. If she, it gives permission to grant a temporary and yeah, between says, the two me who meetings, who says whether or not it's in order? And then that gives them the right to hold a, maybe a very large option before the board meets, and they may not be qualified. How are you going to How are you going to determine whether or not they're qualified? I think that's dangerous. They have to well, be a licensed auctioneer. Well, there are some of them that are licensed. It's just the business. And, um, excuse me. That that all licensed auctioneers, such as King Auction Company, they come in here and uh, they hold auctions, and they, they say it's without limit and reserve, absolute auction, <coughs> and right at the very. Um, um, and yeah, right, right before you begin the auction with 200 people there, they call off the auction because they feel like they, they can't get the minimum bid that they want to get in to satisfy their client. So I mean, I, I kind of like have a problem with that. I mean, I think that all, anybody that wants to come into the state, even if they um, have all the requisites, I mean, I think we ought to look at it at a meeting, maybe have some discussion if, in fact, we want to have discussion. I want to know what their track record is if they're coming in, say, from, from uh, Chicago with the public before saying, he has a, he has, he has a temporary license to hold 10 or 15 options before we meet again. I have a problem with that. Okay. I think it only hurts the current auctioneers that you have in Louisiana. How? And, and even before she said that, I was looking at putting in a buffer word if we didn't throw all that responsibility on Sandy. And she uh, calls but, me, right? Uh, mm -hmm. If we had the, the board president and maybe Sandy, I don't think we have a lot of problems with this. But it, it would be a situation that if we were going to do something like this, we ought, we ought to have more than one person checking it. Well, absolutely. That's what we were doing. She calls the chairman, and if I'm not available, she'd call the vice chairman. But she would get an okay before how, how she. How many of these do we usually have? What and, I, I mean, we're what's only not just one. one. Just one. You know, it doesn't happen very often. It's it rare. just is kind of weird, though. At the, about the last three meetings, we've had people who have even gone so far as calling the governor's office because they want a license, but this board has not yet met to issue a license. So they're calling their legislators, their senators, the, you know, the governor's office, what can we do about getting a license? So that's what prompted the conversation among the board to see what could potentially be done to um, enhance 
people doing business in Louisiana and not making them wait two months for a board meeting. Well, I'm a, I'm a, I'm I'm going to do it at the peril of, of the local auctioneers. I'm going I'm to do this. I'm, I'm going to get this. to you. Let, I'm going to let the board do this and then get the motion ready. Then I'll hear public comment. There ain't going to be no public comment because I'm going to pull the motion. Until this board does some more investigation, Sandy, we won't, I'm not going to make a motion to do it. I'm going to pull my motion. So withdraw the motion? Withdraw. Yep. And the second has to approve the withdrawal. Do it, the second who seconded I like it? Vote. That was Greg. Well, you're not withdrawing your... No. Okay. So I like do I need vote. somebody else to make a motion? I mean, you're involved. She, He's you involved. Know, I think. So, I mean, okay. it's a temporary deal and the whole board's going to decide... If there is a pro you know, if there is a problem, if y'all don't catch it, we'll catch it within 60 days because we meet every 60 days mm -hmm. anyway. And what about just to add to it, maybe uh, you know, to to have that safety net under us, even look at our attorney being involved to to check their background, and make sure they're not unscrupulous or yeah, or, that's a good know, yeah. We could that's we could perfect. work this thing out if we if we yeah. tweak right. it a little no, bit. I understand her that, point, yeah. uh, and we do want to be accommodating. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I just I think if, if your motion would stand with maybe a, a, the the three looking at it, uh, Mr. Sims, uh, you know it, it could be something we could work through. We don't have a lot of these, no. and, and I don't think no. it's the baby out with a bathwater type deal. Right. But well, that's why I was trying to pull it to tweak it. Okay. You get it like you want it. Well, well, you want to amend it? Well, it usually means permanent. Once you give no. once you give somebody a temporary license. They can go in a court and get an injunction if you try to yank it for any reason. And that's a real problem, as your lawyer will tell you. Mm -hmm. And then you've got, you, that, then they have for two or three years before you have a full blown hearing. Yeah. And I, I may have a problem with that as a lawyer, also as an auctioneer. Do you want to amend it, Jim? Why don't you let, uh, I mean, how do I amend it? To do, how, what, I'm, what do I amend it to? <laughs> Why don't you let the public vote know? Why don't you let the public vote and then we can decide. Just let the original motion go and okay, see well, where um, it hits. All, all right, right, let me let the, okay, let me get some public comment on this, then then we'll go to I would, a vote. I would ask that you put all three in, Ms. Sims, in your motion. That would help me on voting. Uh, put what now? Put not only our, our administrator, but our, our uh, chairman add, as well as the attorney. The, add to the chairman, vice chairman, and attorney. Chairman or vice chairman. Chairman and, or vice chairman. And attorney. attorney. And attorney. And attorney. On temporary. All right, On temporary you, license. And you second that. Yeah. Right, his amendment. Okay, yeah. Marvin, uh, okay. Mr. Henderson, you're you first. Time limit on this? Yeah, it's y'all all know. Uh, 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 time out. Let's talk. Yeah, sir. Right. How are you? I didn't get to say Wait, hi before. Before you. Hang on one Marvin, second, Hold on a second. Also put in there that the maximum time at that lot permit, or lot, if I'm going to call it a permit or a temporary lot, temporary would be 60 permit. days. Wait, period. can I say what we did at the last meeting was that the temporary license was only in effect until the next board meeting? Right. At 60 days. Okay. Well, not necessarily okay. if they. If it's 30 days. If they contact the us 30 meeting. days before the board meeting okay. and they want what a temporary so license. So just tell the board meeting. Okay. Oh, you ready, Mr. Henderson? <laughs> well, as I understand the motion right now, I have no objections whatsoever. I just want to make a statement that I do think there needs to be an instrument in place to allow this because, as all of you know, I've always stood against restricting other auctioneers from coming in or being restricted from going into other states. A lot of us do work internationally, and uh, I'm not trying to let. I don't. I'm opposed to any legislation that will keep anybody else from coming into the state. I'm a free enterprise individual, and I think they ought to be allowed. I do think that your motion that stands out now great. Uh, I've had this incident happen several times in the past. You don't always know 90 days in advance when you have a sale, and I've had a situation where I had to obtain a license in another state. And if I'd have just missed the meeting and then had to wait till the next meeting, it would eliminate the possibility. So uh, I, I'm all in favor of having a license that would uh, or a even if it's temporary. You still have your rights before the board. And uh, I mean at, at that time. But uh, I just want to make that statement that I think it ought to be an open market because a lot of us auctioneers work nationwide. I'm not very far restricting that. Thank you. Thank you. Freddie, you're next. I only have one question. I, 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 Sandy mentioned that the, the previous uh, with the uh, reciprocal auctions, whether they were reciprocity or non-reciprocity, was being approved as well. That's what you said? No. I don't, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't <laughs> understand what it is you're asking me that I said, so that's why I'm hesitating to answer. You 
said prior to the auctioneer's license was for uh, reciprocity and non-reciprocity auctioneers, correct? They said if the person was licensed in another licensing state, if they were licensed in another state that had auctioneer licensing. And not reciprocity. Not necessarily reciprocal with us. Okay. All right. So we, they, they stand within the same guidelines as those who are reciprocity, correct? No. No. It's two different no. things. <laughs> well, that's why I was asking. That's why what she said, I, I wasn't clear on what she said. Because <clears throat> I didn't hear that part in the last board meeting. That's why I was asking. My question would be then, with the businesses, um, are they in the same guidelines with, with the reciprocity for the auctioneers? The motion is that they must be um, from a reciprocal state. Only. That's Only. the motion. Only. Yeah, that's what I said. I want to just make sure. What that's the motion, right. Okay, so I rest my case now. Okay. Robert? No. Oh, okay. Right, Sherry, I thought it was somebody back there. No? Okay. No. All right. I'm going to roll call vote it. All right. Let me get to my sheet. All right. So the motion is to issue a temporary license to an auction business who is licensed in a reciprocal state. After the license is um, looked at by me, it will go to either the chairman or the vice chairman, followed by the attorney. And the attorney. And right. the attorney. The attorney must have a copy. And the temporary okay. license will only be granted until which time the board can meet and officially vote. Correct. All right. Mr. Bordelot. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, time out. We, we called the vote. Marvin, you have one quick comment before we vote? I, I just understand that it's only reciprocal states, but a lot of states may not be reciprocal, but if they want to come in and buy a license, let them have an option. That's how the motion was made. I didn't understand that. That part, I just want to... All the states that are licensed are all reciprocal, aren't they? Right. No. 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 Those are two different things. I'm not going to change the motion. One minute. You want to change it? He said no. 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 Okay. I'm not going to change Freddie, you have one more quick no, question I, before... I, I, said, I thought he said he was going to change it. No. No. Not He's not changing it. Okay. Call the vote. Please, Sandy. Mr. Bordelon. Yes. Mr. Brister. Yes. Ms. Jacobs. No. Mr. Little. Yes. Mr. McMillan. Yes. Mr. Sims. Yes. Ms. Steinkamp. Yes. All right. Six.